Hello, Joe Neville here. Now, love it or hate it, NetPlan can be used for more than just configuring IP addresses on your network adapters. It can actually be used to configure any wireless adapters you have installed on your Ubuntu machine. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. Now, if you don't want to hear me wittering on, I've written it all up and posted it to dev.2. All of the details of what I'm going to do are in here. On with the demo then, here's the Ubuntu machine I'm using for this. This is the latest release at the time of recording, so it's Ubuntu 2104 and I've got the desktop version. In this video I'm just going to be focusing on the wireless adapter, I'm not going to be looking at all of the basics for IP address allocation. So if you're new to NetPlan, please do watch my video that I recorded last year, link on screen now. First of all, I'll show you the existing NetPlan file that I have on this machine. So it's test1.yaml and as you can see, I've got an Ethernet adapter here and I've got a static IPv4 address on there. We're going to adapt this file and add in my wireless adapter. So going back to my document, you can see step one is to gather the required details. Now my wireless network is the one that I set up on Aruba kit. I'm using Aruba Instant here, so I know these, but I've configured this for WPA2 personal authentication. So that's where you're going to have a password or a pre-shared key. We're calling it password here because that's what NetPlan calls it. So you'll need the SSID, that's the network name and the password. You get that from your wireless network admin. And to confirm the SSID for my network here is, I don't like SAND15. Okay, so those are the details for the wireless network. We also need the name of the wireless adapter on your machine, and you can get that with an IP link, is a simple way of getting it. There, it's that for me. Next up, we need to compose that NetPlan file then. So we're adapting that existing file, which is this one. I've already got these details, so I'm just going to paste it in. Now to go through, so you have to enter Wi-Fi's, then the adapter that you want to configure. Here I've set up DHCP v6, that's where you would set up DHCP v4, you'd set it to yes if you wanted it. Now this is a bit tricky because it says access points, but it's not actually the name of the access point, it is the SSID that we put under there. So I don't like SAND15. And then under that is the password for the WPA2 pre-shared key. And yes, that is in the clear, but that's it. That's how to configure it. So we will exit out of there. If I show you my adapters first to prove this is working. So against the wireless adapter, I don't have anything. I'm just doing an IP add there. There's no IP address under my wireless adapter. And you can also check whether you're attached to a wireless network with the IWconfig command. And there you go. There's my adapter. And you can see I don't have an SSID there. So I'm not connected to a wireless network at the moment. Okay. Now if I do a sudo netplan apply for my YAML file. There we are. So that should be applied. I do an iwconfig. And then you can see against my wireless adapter, I've got I don't like sand 15. And now if we check the IP address, you can see under my wireless adapter, I have, so I don't have DHCP v4 configured against that, but I do have Slack set up for v6. And as you can see, I'm receiving RAs from my gateway on this VLAN. So I've attached to the Wi-Fi network, I'm receiving v6 RAs. I've generated my own address and I should, be able to ping the gateway and I can so that's it actually so those steps again gather the details compose the net plan file apply the file that's the net plan apply command and then you can verify and I've got all the details in there for you okay thanks very much for watching short and sweet to the point hope you found that useful my name's Joe Neville and goodbye